Hi everybody, welcome back. We are Tia and Tia. We got some questions from some of our friends that they would love to know about us. They want to know a little bit about us, our history, how we started, where we started from, you know, all of that stuff. So let's get into it. Welcome back guys. So they asked several questions, so I'll be using my phone to read them and we'll keep answering the questions. Okay. This question is for you. Why didn't you go for a white lady? I feel like the question is, why didn't you go for an American lady? It doesn't matter if it's white or white. So now, answer the color and so then answer, answer the okay. location. Okay. So for, for white, it's because black is my preference. That's why I chose black over Asian, black over Hispanic, black over whatever. Black it's is my preference. Just your preference. Now, if it's why did I go for a Nigerian woman versus an American woman? I had no plans of where or what part of the planet I wanted to get a wife from. It just so happened that God had oh, arranged the I perfect woman me. for me in Nigeria. And we clicked and we connected and I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> You don't even have a choice. You have to say that. <laughs> oh, and I don't have a choice. I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did each of you know it was God's will? Well, um, you know that adage, you know, you know, when you know, you know. Mm. Well, so on top of that, uh, there's, I, I mean, I for me, I spend a lot of time praying and seeking God's face. And here's the thing for me also. This started back in 2011, even though we were just friends and there was nothing going on in 2011. But right when I knew that, okay, like I'm interested in Cynthia, I started seeking God's face about it. Hmm. And then I also let other people know that I was also interested in her. And I'm talking about, when I say other people, I'm talking about other brothers and sisters in Christ who I knew would also join me in seeking God's face. Because God has a way sometimes of using even people, other people, to either confirm that someone or something is right for you or someone or something is not right for you. So all of that, as well as, again, like just knowing that she is the one, you kind of just have that feeling. Um, um, whether if it's a combination of the Holy Spirit as well as gut and intuition, and kind of just all of that packaged together was the perfect um, bag of answer of a yes for me. And this is supposed to be Cynthia being the woman for me. Wow. Hmm. See, confidence. Okay, for me, honestly, I never even thought of it until a um, pastor called me. He came from here. Shout out to Mr. Gaya, Reverend Dr. Gaya. He mm -hmm. called me to ask me questions. You know, all these pastors, they want to find out if you actually know or has he made the right choice. I don't know. Maybe he came to check if I knew. That was when I had to ask myself the question for real. Why did I love this guy? And is he truly did the it? person? Why? That's at that time I had to ask. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, am I truly sure he's the one for me? Let me not lie. At that point, I did not know he's the one for me. To the very end of when I said yes to the relationship, I was not sure you were the one for me. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, now I'm not, I'm not encouraging you to do this from a better um, place. I wish I knew. I prayed before saying yes, so I asked God, oh my God, I hope I'm not doing the wrong thing and all of that. But I felt like, Whatever it is, I'll get to know and be sure if you're not the right person for me when we get closer because it's um, a long distance relationship. I don't know you. So I always felt like I am the one that would get to determine, okay, if you're the right person for me, not the Holy Spirit, okay? I know of that, but you know how you know, but you still don't act. Mm -hmm. So I was always waiting for the negatives and the, you know how you've learned so much about relationship that you want to apply it immediately after i said yes the guy did not stop he was like okay next few months he came back again and he was about to pay my bride price so it was like whoa wait wow huh? mm -hmm. hey ah, i'm confused Hello. so at that time it's like he 
started giving me his all when i say his all like exploding all the negatives he had <laughs> all the negatives. he just started saying stuff like i was like lord is this the right person with my cultural beliefs i'm like ah i just prayed and just told god to take the wheel did i see red flags in my cultural views i saw red flags in my cultural views that thank god i did not work on those red flags that's all i'll say because they were from a very horrible mindset in my lifetime did that answer that question i think that answered it okay. very well <clears throat> now we have the most dangerous question that says where were you my first am i am i your first is that how the question First what? First what? Excuse me. First, first what? First what? You gotta be more specific. First what? We don't. We don't get. We do not understand that. We question. can't answer that question because it's not specific. We, we don't. We don't know what first first means. Rephrase your question. Rephrase your question, and we'll yes. get back to that question in some other videos. Mm -hmm. Now, this this guys, if you have any question for us, just feel free to put it in the comment section, yes. and if you've been here through this time already just know that there are more hey, interesting questions to come any questions that arise from the answers we just gave feel free to ask us and yes, any other questions that ask. come up that has nothing to do with the answers we gave please feel free to ask and we'll definitely add it and get back to you handle friends of opposite time where it's near impossible not to relate with the opposite sense mm -hmm. and so if you want to drop the life you i was talking to you and i stopped talking to you what is the message it means see you should understand i'm married my wife is not allowing me to talk to you right now thank you so much guys for watching <laughs> right. thank you for watching if you enjoyed today's video do well to click right here and you'll see more videos from us don't forget to subscribe